Hey, what's going on everybody? This is going to be a Photoshop tutorial, which is something completely and utterly new on this channel. I know it's not a video game I'm playing on on this channel, but I have to make a um, a tutorial on how to use Photoshop. So I guess the very first thing we have to do here is we have to open Photoshop. That should be the first step of anything when doing a Photoshop tutorial is open Photoshop. So we have Photoshop open and what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to create a battlefield effect which you know been done hundreds thousands of times there's millions of pictures out there with the battlefield effect on it. If you have no idea what the battlefield effect is just look up the cover for Battlefield 4. It's very simple, just Google it. All right, so this right here is the main background and what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend uh, my good friend Jason into this image right here. Um, and to do that, uh, I basically took one of, his, one of his photos without him knowing and I just deleted away all the background, did all the levels and such, just to add some more light to him. Because uh, the overall, as the original image was a little bit too dark, so I just kind of did my thing with it. So we're going to pick him up, put him into place, put him right there, right there. All right. So uh, mainly, what I'm going to do here is it's going to be a lot of image adjustments and so on. So to, to begin things off, we're going to go into image adjustments and we're going to go into black and white. We're going to turn him into a black and white person. So now he is black and white. Good for us. So now you have to go back into image and go into photo filter. This is a filter that will add that because we want to basically uh, make him kind of look like the overall background or the overall color. And... Um, <clears throat> To do this, I am basically going to uh, use a dark blue because this is not really that intense. So you have to like increase your density until you get to a point where you like it. So I'm at 84% for density with a dark blue color. I would say that's, that pretty much well matches. Now we have to go back to the image, we have to go back to adjustments, we have to go all the way to levels. Now the next two steps I'm going to do here, you don't have to do them. It, this part right here is only if you want to add finer details like uh, adding more black to him or adding more white, so on and so forth. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to like add maybe just a little bit more black onto him. Just to kind of have him blend better in. Uh, the black on him doesn't really matter because I'm actually going to focus more on the gun. So back to image, back to adjustments, and you have to go into curves because everybody loves curves. So now we have to just kind of slowly adjust it. Again, you don't have to do those last two steps if you're not really too uh, big on detail. But I'm really big on detail. So now we're going to add the glowing effect. Which, if you can see in the background, all this orange right here is what we're going to add to my character right here. So, what we got to do is we got to open up a new uh, layer, which we can do two ways. Press the little foldy paper right there or control J if you're on a desktop I don't know what it is on Mac because I don't use Macs because they suck so um, click on layer 2 right click it now we have to create a clipping mask so when we create this clipping mask you'll see why uh, then you have to go into your brush now I have my brush set to a hardness of 26 percent and you kinda wanna have your brush kinda like kind of like the same size as the character so I have it set down to 38 now uh, when picking out your color because um, these colors right here you can either do it in two different options you can either go into your um, eyedropper tool which will you which you could just go in and just uh, find whichever color looks cool to you uh, but for right now I'm actually just going to go into my swatches and pick out um, this color, which I think is called uh, pure red orange. There we go. Yeah, that's the color I want. So you have your brush selected. You have your layer picked out. This is why we want the layer mask. It is because, oh, look at that. Look at that. 
See, I don't have to worry about like going out of the lines because um, you know the color will just stay in there. So again, I mainly want to focus more so on like the sides of him and the gun, or at least pit, uh, part of the gun. I want to leave the bayonet out. And again, there's like multiple different ways how you can actually do this. Um, I'm going to get some of his hair, and I would say that's about it. Um, a little bit there, there, there. Alright, so again, you can do this in many different fit ways. I mainly just want the gun showing off and such. So now you have to go over here under normal, and then you have to go to overlay because you won't get, because then you, uh, the orange will actually just overlay all over top of here, as you can see the gun. Now, um, here's just another little bonus step here. You can actually duplicate the um, layer here to actually get that more intense orange look which I guess I kinda went out of line here uh, which a quick erase will fix up I'm just really happy that you know, he's just all um, I'm actually kinda happy that most of his coloring is all black cause then this will just be so much easier there we go Okay, and same down here, I guess. Oops. Alright, so you can actually just keep adding more and more. Uh, you can just copy this layer more and more and more until you eventually get that um, certain orange glow you like. Um, so now, again, we're going to create another layer, which I'll throw over top of here. And uh, we're actually going to go with a different color this time. We're actually going to go with a yellow color. Intense. I think this is like a, an intense yellow. And same thing. We're actually going to go... Well, actually, I'm going to do a bit a little... Oh, whoops. I missed one step. And that was we have to create another clipping mask. And I guess this should also be a clipping mask as well. Don't know really... I don't know why... That didn't become a clipping mask, but whatever, whatever. That doesn't matter. Just make sure that layer 2, layer 2 copy, and layer 3 are both clipping masks. Because then we're going to go into our uh, orange gun. And we're just going to... This is like creating like a glowing highlight, so to speak. Yes, there we go. So now that that's picked out, we just go into normal and then click overlay again, and that brings and that pretty much adds a nice yellow tint, which then we can just hit Control J. Again, I don't know why it's not doing a clipping mask, but to do that, just keep adding more and more layers, and then you get a more intense look to it. Um, so yeah, that is essentially the battlefield effect right there. Um, do do do. Um, one other step I just want to show off is uh, you can also make the background tense by doing the exact same thing by making that layer a zero and control J that one. Um, yeah. So we'll create a club mask for that one. Um, yeah. And then we'll just take our brush again, go back into the orange, because then I kind of want to like do some of this. doesn't have to be clean or anything because I'm actually just going to um, do overlay. There we go. Um, now, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to like turn the whole entire street orange to make it more badass looking. Um, So yeah, there we go, and um, I guess that's really it for this uh, Photoshop tutorial. Um, I don't normally make tutorials on Photoshop ever, because, um, well, I don't know, because there's always someone else doing that for me, but this was for a, um, a uh, class I'm taking right now at the university, so this is one of the assignments I had to do, was make a tutorial on how to do something, and I didn't want to do anything like boring, like you know, 
do this and this and this. I want to do something fun and actually like make uh, and do and use clipping masks and overlays and such and basically making my best friend Jason into a Battlefield 4 character. So thank you for watching and um, I'll see you next time.